everybody, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing well and I'm sorry I have been away. Um, I've had a really, really busy couple of weeks at work and I've not been feeling very well. So I just haven't had the energy to, to film. So, um, but I did a poll on the community tab to ask what colour along you might just like to see this month and so there was a tie. It ended up being 32% for Matchstick Mouse Halloween colouring book. And, oh no, it was 32%, uh, I've got it here actually, um, in for Rita Berman's autumn book. It was going to be um, my travels through Asia, but I might do travels through Asia and this this month if I can squeeze it in and then do an autumn Read Berman's autumn book next month. But first of all, um, we are going to do a picture in here. And I've seen one I really like. Just got to find it. This one. This one I really like. I think this one's just really, really cute. If you'd like a flip through of this book, just let me know. And I will happily do that for you. Um, in Colouropoly this month, um, I don't know if you watch, but... Um, chronic colouring down under does colouropoly so it's like monopoly and you land on spaces and this month I got whimsical and I also got sent to jail and that means you have to colour a page with your non-dominant hand so I have to colour a page with my left hand and I'm actually going to do that in my welcome to the village book so I might do a short of that so look out for it is what I would say so as we've done before in this book I am going to do a base with Arteza Everblend alcohol markers and then I go over with pencil. Um, and so I've got my swatch book so I know what colours I want and I'm ready to go I think. So I want goldfish orange, I'm just going to zoom you in a little bit, move it up there, brilliant. So I want goldfish orange first of all for the pumpkin. So yeah, I've had a really, really busy few weeks at work. I've delivered a big event last Wednesday where I was essentially hosting the event all day. Um, and I started not to feel very well last Monday. So I was really worried I wasn't actually going to make it to the event. But I did. And it went really, really well. Um really pleased with how it went the feedback's been really good so um yeah if you don't know I work in a higher education institution and it was a induction day for for all new staff and it's the second time I've kind of run one so um and it's very very I find standing up and speaking speaking in front of people hugely nerve-wracking um but yeah like I said it went it went pretty well so that was good. Um, what else has been happening? Yeah, I've just not been very well and my daughter's just been really busy as well. So it's involved a lot of kind of coordination and stuff and always just gets really, really tiring. So, um, yeah. And then I've got next week is half term. Woohoo! And I'm actually taking some time off work. So lots of colouring for me coming up, which is really, really fun. I've been a bit slow this this month, I think because I've been so busy at work, I haven't wanted, I haven't mentally had the capacity to kind of sit down and colour, make decisions. I just not wanted to do that. So, um, yeah, that's been, it's been annoying because I, you know, I really enjoy, I really enjoy the colouring, but um, I just haven't had the headspace and I've not been feeling very well. Yeah, it was really weird. I had one week where I had really bad wisdom toothache and that when I get that it kind of flares up and is almost like having a cold and then yeah last week I had this what I thought was gonna might have turned into Covid but I don't actually think was um so yeah just oh just really tired I just need some time off so yeah next week is time off time um, my daughter's half term is next week, so she'll be off as, t as well. So I'm just doing some planning on that at the minute, finding out what's going on in Medway. 
Um, well, and we're gonna, definitely going to get some pumpkins because we normally do some pumpkin carving. And um, my daughter's got a few parties that she's going to. Um, she's got. Um, she, yeah, she's going to a Halloween party on the thirty first. Um, and then um, she's got a school Halloween disco on the fourth of November. So she really wanted. We've had like a witch's costume. We had a wolf's costume last year. And she had a wolf onesie, so that was really easy. And then she's had a witch's costume in previous years. Um, but she really wanted something different and new this year. So I bought her a um I bought her a vamp. Initially she said she wanted a devil's costume, but then when we were looking, she was realising, oh no, mummy, they're too red. Don't want them, they're too red. And then what she actually transpired and what we actually bought was a vampire's uh a vampire's costume and honestly the vampire's costume looked absolutely awesome on her it was just like made for her um yeah she looks really really cool and i said to her i said do you want to have makeup on i can do you some black eyeshadow and some red lipstick oh no mummy i don't want that so yeah she doesn't want that so that's fine um but yeah so she's got lots of fun things coming up but that's cool and then in two weeks' time, I have got um, a weekend of playing. So I think that's all the pumpkins done. So for that, I used, um, if you can see that, it's Goldfish Orange um, from the Everblend set. Um, now, I quite like, oh, I quite like that chartreuse colour. I was going to have that because I don't use it. Yeah. I quite like to use kind of lighter colours um, when I'm colouring with alcohol markers so that I can go in with blending and stuff later. But yes, yesterday I was doing a, um, a matchstick mouse picture and I did really dark blue and it worked really, really well because um, I just ended the shading in black. So that was that was that worked really nicely. Um, all right. That's it. I'm just going to get a darker green as well. So that one was chartreuse. Then I'm just going to put a bit of dark green at this root of that. I love these alcohol markers. They're just divine. Um, yeah. So, yeah. So, I, yeah, I've got a playing a playing weekend coming up in a couple of weeks. That's 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 actually Halloween weekend. Um and I've got a massive violin solo that I've got to learn. Um, so, the, yeah, that's going to be interesting coming up. I think I'm going to do my little owl, a grey, grey-blue colour, and put some, like, little black bits on him. That's the plan, anyway. And I'm going to probably put some glossy accents I think it's an owl, isn't it? Put some glossy accents. That can be. Um, then my little matchstick mouse I normally go pastel orange with. He normally has a pastel orange body. And then a ivory something. A little... Uh, little uh, cream pearl I think it is yeah I think it's a cream pearl little little tummy and then I put some shading in with pencil and then his ear is normally ballerina pink and then what color and I normally switch his switch his little hats up so today he's gonna have a red gonna have a red hat it's a she, isn't it? I got told it's a she and it's a witch. So she's going to have a red hat today. So, yeah, so I'm doing a big violin solo. So I've got lots of practice that I've got to do in the evenings in the next few weeks. I'm not sure I'm going to get all this done in one video. I thought I might, but there's lots of little elements to this. Um, what I've got to do is beat her feet. Oh, it's a cute little, it's a cute little house that this little mouse has got. There we go. Right then, so we need to do some leaves. 
Oh, I've done 10 minutes so far. Okay, what green shall we do with these? Oh, mantis green. I like mantis green. Uh, we're going to do these leaves, mantis green. Oh, we're not going to do them all green now, I don't think. We'll do these ones with reds and golds. We might put a bit of brown in this as well. Because it's autumn, after all. Not a lot of green leaves left on the on the trees. Not at all. So what else can I tell you? We're starting to think about Christmas. Oh, the dreaded C word. I don't know if you're like me, but I generally can't really start to think about Christmas until November is kind of until Guy Fawkes night, really. But um kind of have to start buying stuff in November in order for it to work out financially um, so yeah I've got that got that to think about um, I think we'll have then have fig red now this is quite bright but I'm gonna knock it back with um, a dark red from the Arteza expert pack which is like um a garnet red so i'll have some red ones here and then we'll probably have some gold and yellow ones as well i'll have this red too and i'm not coloring it all of it in i am leaving just like little white bits here and there so that i can kind of mix the pencil in and i want a nice yellow sapphire yellow will be perfect I just want this to be nice and bright and colourful. These these pages are just so cute. The black lines in this are kind of running with the alcohol marker. Mind you, with this book, I noticed when I got it, Amazon hadn't printed it very well. It was, um, it's not on this page, but on some of the other pages, there's like um, white lines down the like black. So I um. I sent. I basically said to Amazon, it's not the quality I was expecting, and I got it. Um, I got a refund because uh, I wasn't. I was like, if I pay for this, I expect you to print it properly. Um, so yeah, so I got a refund from Amazon. And um, I mean, it's. I mean, to be honest, yeah, it's. It's not. It's not. You know end of the world because I think I can cover most of it up but um still I wasn't I wasn't you know it's not the first thing put it this way that I've had from Amazon where it's been printed by them or it's not been very good I, I mean I, I bought a um I think it was a Christine Caron fairies and fantasies book and like that some of the images were completely n not centered some of them were printed off the page and so i sent that one back as well because i was just like you know i'm paying for this for you to do the job properly not for it to be done half-heartedly i mean how can you color something in that's not pro i mean luckily with these books the alcohol marker will probably kind of sort it out so um but still, it's still my money that I paid for it with. Um, and I'm, you know, not paying for something which is not not done the not done the job properly. So yeah. So I got a refund for this one. Um, but they didn't want me to return it. I think Amazon do that sometimes if it's not very worth very much money to them, they won't have they don't make you refund it. Or if some things they do. Which is, you know, that's fine. And understand it really it probably costs them more to pay for the postage return than it does um just to issue a refund back but yeah so my advice is if you're not happy them happy with the amazon printing is complain about it because you know don't offer to print something if you can't do it right folks um i know somebody else is talking about this on their facebook facebook group the other day so um i relayed my experience there we go. And there's more leaves here. Let's put some brown in there. And there's a few leaves on the floor there, isn't there? There's a big leaf at the top. I don't know what to do that bit in. I don't even know. What, are they ghosts? I don't even know what they are. 
they look like ghosts, but there's a candle here, so I'll put a bit of yellow there. Another candle there, so I'll put a bit of yellow there. Um, then we need the gold. Look, me. Then we'll have some more orange here. I'm really enjoying this. I think these images are just so cute. They just work. I don't know if that would be darker brown or something. I'm not sure. So I think I'm going to do this a sandy colour. And then I can do with that what I will after. And then I need to work out what I'm going to do with the worm. And it looks like it's a centipede of some description. Oh look, there's a ladybug there too. Two ladybugs. And a beetle. Oh, it's so cute. I hadn't noticed all these little animals on the floor. But they're very, very cute. So that's like a sandy floor. A pale sand floor. And then we'll colour in the ladybug. There we go. Let's do that there as well. You can use any alcohol markers. You don't have to use the same ones as me. I know a lot of people go on about the Ahuhu and the Copics. Um, but I know that they're ridiculously expensive. Um, I really like Arteza. Um, I think they're quite a good brand in many areas. Um, I've got uh, the 72, 72 Arteza. And then I've got some Arteza uh, metallic watercolours. And I've got some um, Arteza Expert and Premium Pencils. And what else have I got? I've got, yeah. And I think I've got some um, acrylic paint as well. Um, so yeah, so I've got quite a bit of stuff from them, which I quite like. Now this one's just going to be, a little worm is going to be a darker grey, but with a lighter head. This one's going to be a darker red. Um, I think I'm just going to put a bit of, I'm just going to put a bit of almond in these leaves. I don't know if that will work. Hopefully it will. Hopefully it will give it a bit of a base to blend with the brown. There we go. Maybe put, even put a bit of brown in there. Well, I'm gonna put those bits of darker brown in the in the in the pumpkin here. I can't work out what they are. Could just be a spider's web or something, and these could just be ghosts where a little mouse has decided to decorate it. I don't know. Or I could just do that little bit um, uh, sparkly. I do it sparkly, you know. Don't know at the minute. We'll see what happens when we get there. I think I've used this one quite a lot because it's uh, not as juicy. There we go. And then I think I just need to make some some of these bits in the pumpkin a bit yellow, as if there's a if there's a candle inside. Which of course they might well be, as it's Halloween. Right, I just need to do that big leaf over there. I am actually going to put a bit of brown on the edges of the leaves. As if they're turning colour with autumn. That's better. Better than just making them all green, which is not realistic in my view. For this time of year a lot of the trees around where i am at the moment are just oh they're such amazing colors 
so feel so privileged to live in a country and see all the changes of the seasons. It really is amazing. There we go. That's better. And then I'm going to do that big leaf there. I'm going to do that. This. Not see that. Do you know what? Fig. Um, there we go. And I'm going to put that on all the tips and then blend that into a lovely orange when I get there. That's the plan anyway. There we go. There we go. Then my daughter's got these amazing Chromatech glitter pens and she's forgotten that she's got them but she says I can use them so I'm just going to use this lovely yellow for these stars they're so glittery and they um this the set that she got comes with refills so you get like a pack of 60 really no no it is a pack of, I got I think it's a pack of 60 yeah this is yes yeah, so this is a pack of 30 but then you get the refills so it's like having 60 pens um, and they are so glittery. Every single one of them is really sparkly. And they're, and they're really nice and smooth to lay down. And they're really quite inexpensive, actually. Um, but she said I could use them because she uses my pens a lot. So she said I could use them, which is very nice of her. And then we'll make these little dots creamy. There we go. So the next video... I will be going in with my Arte's expert pencils and doing the blending because of hair. I'm doing the blending then on this. But for the minute, that is the first layer. So there we go. I hope you enjoyed that and my silly chatting. And I will see you again later this week. Bye. Bye.